What's up, guys? TV were scotching things. Hey, sorry. Finally, finally getting around. <coughs> excuse me to showing you the my the vacation knives. You know, you knew I got this um, Microtech collab with Strider, the Microtech DOC from Dave. So we'll go over that real quick. You can kind of see something back here. So it, it was funny, like. Um, <clears throat> I've never handled one of these and Dave, like I said, was nice enough to pick us up at the airport and I gave him that, I put that, <clears throat> that skike in his hand right away because I knew he wanted it. I had no, I didn't, you know, I didn't know if we were going to trade, I was going to sell to him, whatever. I just was taking it because he wanted to check out the, the thumb stud version <clears throat> and um, we're driving. He goes, oh, you haven't seen this yet. And he hands it to me and I was just like. Oh, I like, I like literally just grabbed it from him because I've, I've never had one before. Never, like I said, never handled one. Um, so here it is. It's from 2013. Yeah, it's from, let me, if you can see that, God, focus. 20, 2013. Um, it's in great shape. It's got a great edge on it. Um, I just kind of want to, just a quick show and tell to you. Um, it's got all the pride territory. Ter uh, I can't talk today. Um, hardware on it. I know a lot of people talk about the pocket clip. Um, we'll talk about all the negatives and not negatives, but all the stuff. I just kind of wanted to show it to you today in the EDC update video because I have been carrying this thing, um, quite a bit. I've been, it's been in pocket uh every day either as my main knife or like my back pocket knife um since i got it so yeah i i, I can say i just i can let you know i can i really like the doc so um just think it's cool compound grind um it's an lmax giant thumb studs flipper um I mean, if you ever wanted, I mean, a lot of people complain it's on bearings, you know, striders or this or that or whatever. Well, if you ever wanted a flipper bearing version, um, try and track one of these down. So, don't know why they don't do them anymore. That's really too bad. So, yeah, I just wanted to show it to you real quick, get you a better look. You know, backspacer... Um, it's got the skateboard grip tape, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you a quick, a better look at it. You've seen it a couple times, just flashing through videos here or there. Just wanted to give you a better look at it, and then you'll get a, I'll go over like the EDC update, and because like I said, I have had this thing in pocket quite a bit. Um, and then we went to Monkey Edge, you know, and I wasn't really, after I got, I mean, I like literally, I got that day one from Dave, 10 minutes into the trip. And then I was happy. I was like, well, because I had kind of gone on Monkey Edge's website and I knew there was no chance of us actually getting a, a frag knife or whatever. I mean, they stayed it right on their on their site. But we were looking around. It's a cool store. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, and it, it's funny, like that the day Dave came, we were talking about fixed blades. I want to carry them, right? I want to, but I've been looking for a smaller one. So this is a Bowiedemann. It's a hard to say name. Bowiedemann, Bowiedemann. Uh, the Bowiedemann blades, I think they're out of Ohio. Bowiedemann blades, Murin, Slicer, in 3 v It's a Monkey Edge exclusive. Once I thought, saw that, 3 v and look at there. So I went to Monkey Edge, didn't get the, the frag, but I got a Monkey Edge exclusive. Um, it's a cool, comfortable little fixed blade. And like, this would be... This is what I'm talking about. Like, I this is the size that I would be comfortable EDCing just as an EDC knife. Um, you can tilt this clip. They had one in the shop that was tilted a little bit, so it angles it, so it would sit kind of like more like this. Right now, I've got it sitting like this. Um, I've got some soft loops on some holsters that I'm gonna take off and kind of experiment with because I would love to wear it you know, this way on, on like the, just so, but I, I you know, kind of what do they call that scout carry, right? When it's this way and you pull, ooh, when you pull the knife out, 
when it's in line with your belt, you know, instead of straight down. Um, cause I've already got, you know, a lot of times, like I said, I've got a pistol, um, and I, you know, that's digging down in my crotch and I don't really want this down in my crotch too. So it'd be nice to have this off to the side, one side, or maybe that's why that's, you know, kind of, oops, I didn't even show that on camera. Kind of like that a little bit. So I'm, I've carried it once. It's, it's comfortable. It's cause it's smaller, but, um, these are carbon. I didn't even realize until I was reading on their website, but these are carbon fiber. I thought they were, uh, G, G10. This new camera is a real pain in the ass how it wants to focus. But, um, nice jimping. Like I said, I'll, you might get an update on this. I, I just don't know. So, Boedemann Blades. Does it say where they're from? Boedemann. Nope, just 3V. USA. Monkey Edge exclusive. Cool little knife. Cool little fixed blade. Like I said, I, I want to carry one. I was just finding one that was the right size. And Monkey Edge had a ton I was looking at. I was looking at a Winkler and, and some other stuff. And... Uh, I just, this one just kind of felt comfortable and just kind of felt like, I know this is meant for a, hey, defensive stabby knife, but I thought if I was going to EDC a fixed blade for EDC, this has got a nice blade shape that I would use for EDC stuff, you know, cutting basically, and it's sharp as a mother. It is sharp, but, you know, just opening boxes or doing, doing whatever. So, um, yeah. So there you go. There are my two knives. You might get an update on that. You will definitely get an update on this. Oh, the Monkey Edge did give us a sticker. That was nice. Um, so yeah, the Boedemann Blades, and uh, it's hard to say, Murin Slicer. Uh, cool, cool, freaking little flicks, fixed blade. And the Strider DOC, which I'm absolutely loving. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.